All right, what's up, heavy hitters? Today, I'm here with Dr. Pham, and um, we got a crazy thing going on today. I'm gonna test for the COVID-19, the coronavirus. It's probably the biggest thing going around right now, or biggest topic and epidemic going on right now. And um, yeah, man, I'm gonna get tested by uh, Mr. Pham, or Dr. Pham, I'm sorry, and see if I have it, man. I'm, I'm a little nervous, a little shaky, never been, uh, nervous about taking a test but um we're gonna get it man so he brought his supplies and basically the test that that i need yep so what do we got going on here we got the antibody test so this will let us know if you have it now or if you've ever had it in the past okay okay now some people say that if you have the antibodies you won't get it again you're immune right to it. right yeah i've actually heard from some people saying they've never wish to pop positive on a test before because they say if you've had it once then you're basically immune to it so if i had it i could walk around with no mask that's right and, uh, <laughs> and not be worried you know right right but we're gonna find out today man all right let's do it let's see so what's the first thing you're doing right here just kind of yeah we got this test kit right here so because you've taken the test yourself and yeah and i'm you were negative. negative that's yeah. right so we got the test kit right here what we're gonna do okay is take a sample of your blood. We're gonna uh, draw some blood. Okay. Drop that in here. Now we're gonna see a one line right here, a C. That lets us know that the test is working. Okay. If we pop a T1 or a T2, in addition to that C, you're positive. Oh shit. You know, you may or may not want that. So. <laughs> and then what What if uh, you're not, what will, what will it show? It will just show the C, the control line. Just a C. That's right. But if it has a T in either one, I'm positive. That's right. Damn, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm gonna sit down just in case, uh, you know, right. this gets serious right here. All right. Get all the supplies right here. As you can see, big boy's not scared of needles. Shit, I'm scared. I, that was the first thing I asked. Hey, does that shit hurt? <laughs> now, let me see your finger, man. What, what finger is best to A use? Ring finger. Ring finger. That's right. Let's clean that up. Try to keep it hygienic and sanitary. Yep. Oh shit. All right, so. About to get stabbed. We're gonna give it a few min minutes to dry off, or a few seconds, I should say. A few say. seconds, all right. All right, ready? Yes, sir. There we go, got that blood right away. Sure. Is that good blood right there? Yeah, we, got, we need a lot for this Is one. Is that good blood flow? See that? Got all that blood right there. Blood in, blood out. Got that blood, let's drop Ooh. it in here. All right. Damn. Let's go ahead at two What's drops this of right this. Here? Now this is the reagent. This is what you need to test the blood. One, okay. two. Don't want to waste that. Okay, okay. Is it working? Yep, you can see that. All right, how, how long does it usually take? I'm gonna grab a, a, a napkin over here. 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Right. So basically it's a waiting game. It's 10 to 15 minutes, man. Crazy. If you see me take off and dip, probably could take what's positive. I don't want to stick around for that. Shit, that shit like hits you like with a ring, huh? It's like Good shit. Let's see, let's see. Look at this shit. Yeah, homie, my bad. So you, if you if you uh, want negative, that means you only want the C. You only want the C. So right, right. now it's just at the C. Yeah, that's right. And yours was like that, and then how long did you wait, and it just didn't change? Didn't change, yeah. Okay. Um, Timer, what was I gonna about say? About two minutes? Probably a little more. Probably like four. Because... What's up, guys? My name is Dr. Pham. And while, while we're waiting for Big Boy's test results to come back, I'm gonna show you guys some tips that you guys can use to stay safe and stay hygienic. The best thing you can do is keep washing your hands all the time. You don't want to spread that germ around to other surfaces. You don't want to spread that germ to yourself and cause yourself to get sick. So wash your hands all the time. If you guys are using gloves, 
you guys gotta take these gloves off and throw them away. You can't be using the same pair of gloves all day. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. So I just really wanna make, uh, make sure you guys know the practices we're using at our clinic um, so you guys can use them at home as well. So we're always washing our hands. We're always using gloves with patients, taking them off and throwing them away using a new pair of gloves with the next patient. We don't wanna spread germs around. We're wearing masks, that's to protect ourselves from the germs. But that's something you guys can do as well. If you guys are out and about in a crowded place, you can wear a mask. Try to keep yourself away, you know, social distance, six feet and all that. But if you can't do that, if you physically can't do that, wear a mask. All right, now come along with me. I'm gonna show you guys how to take these gloves off. Because I see a lot of people doing them the wrong way and that, that's only gonna spread the infection and affect yourself. So what you wanna do is you don't wanna touch your bare skin with the gloves. You just take that right there, pull it off. Take that right back there. Pull it off and throw it away. All right, the test results are about to come in. You know, this test takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Over 20 minutes though, the test is no longer valid. So uh, because the solution and the blood are sitting for so long, you gotta read it between 10 and 20 minutes. 10 to 15 is ideal, so don't let it sit too long. We're about to, time's about to be up right now. All right, heavy hitters, check it out. The final 10 seconds. Five seconds. If the if the test reads just a line at C, I'm straight. Time up. Let's check it out. Just C. Whew. Your boy's safe. Your boy's clean. Thank God. Your boy's clean. I was scared. I thought there was some gonna be some bad results or something, you know. Um, you never know. We're in this world down around different people. My cameraman's a dirt bag, so you know what I mean? Nah, I'm just joking. But yeah, you, you never know, man. And uh, I, I was pretty nervous, so I'm not gonna lie, but I feel much better that I did, did, did the test because now I know for a fact that uh, I don't have it and I'm not gonna be a danger to my family or my friends, you know? So that feels really good. Um, now I just gotta stay, stay uh, clean, stay healthy, and stay negative from this shit, you know? So um, I appreciate uh, Dr. Pham coming through. That was dope, you know. Um, yeah, you guys wanna check out the test right here to let you guys know it's real. You gotta be a doctor basically to get this stuff. Um, so it's all medical grade, it's 100% accurate. And um, man, it's a blood test, so it's gonna let you guys know. If you guys are looking for these, I'm sure you guys can find like a clinic or something online, right? Dr. Yeah, Dr. Fam? That's right. Look online, but um, damn, I'm, I'm thankful, man. That's all I gotta say, is I'm thankful that, uh, that I don't got it. And um, we're gonna keep staying safe. I hope you guys are safe out there. You guys, you guys still gotta practice, you know, the, the social dis distancing the best you can. Um, like I tell everyone around me, I understand that, uh, you know, when you work and you gotta do things for work or visit family, this and that, um, you know, that's kind of difficult and you probably gotta do what you gotta do, you know? But if you guys don't need to be around people or if you guys, are in uh, big crowds, I would make sure that you, you know, wear protection and take precaution. Those are the types of things. But um, I do know that we still got to make money out there and I'm feeling for all the businesses and people out there that have been affected. You know, my prayers and uh, my condolences out to you guys and I hope, you know, everything gets much better soon. And uh, we're going to keep pushing, you know, as a heavy hitter, we got to keep grinding, you know, keep the foot on the gas pedal and we keep going heavy hitters. So um, I appreciate all the love, you know, thanks for tuning into this, man. I was, I was scared. I was going to have that shocking, crazy news and pop positive on this shit but uh lord willing i'm straight heavy hitter so thank you for tuning in to to the channel um thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and if you guys do want the merch we got the new merch check it out at strengthcartel.com keep banging